So you all uh, know that uh, if you have oxygen styles with uh, tile wind enabled, it's going to mess up your uh, styling, as you can see here. But uh, if we disable the oxygen CSS, everything is perfect. But then the users got confused what to do with the a navigation or a menu element because you cannot access it easily like the rest of the rest of the elements so let's uh, cover this one I'm going to use the inspect and I want to see what's under the hood and how the oxygen navigation element is structured so what you can see here we have the nav element and inside we have uh, oxygen toggle and then we have the actual uh, navigation that was that is wrapped with the uh, div and inside it's a order list uh, unordered list with the menu items so uh, we can go here or we can actually use uh, this one and uh, just to show you if I uh, write anything here it's going to be display here after refresh uh, this is just for a tutorial purpose it's going to be much easier to look at uh, this one and the first thing we want to do is to make this one flex so let's do this Let's remove this one and then we can uh, apply flex. Let's reload it to see. Perfect. Then we can target the this one. That's a menu item. So we can do it like this and item and then we can use the background let's actually check the colors so Colors, colors, just a second. Okay, it's late, 50. Okay. And if we reload, perfect, everything works fine. And we need to add some margin and would be good to add some padding as well uh, we also probably want to have maybe like this and add little more padding space on the and actually I want to target the the link and not the the wrapper and also I want to have the hover different so it can be something subtle like this reload yeah perfect so everything works uh, just fine so uh, let's now move to uh, try to make it responsive what you can see here this one is still present so what we can do is uh, we can do uh, hidden and then when it's a little bigger then it can become flex so if, if it's mobile it's not visible if it's a desktop, it's visible. Uh, 
Okay, let's now check uh, mobile trigger and what we can do is we can actually disable the queuing the oxygen styles and we can see what's under the hood for this one. So we actually have the oxy menu toggle and what we can do is we can target that one we can use this one and this one can be uh, hidden on the same break point when we are showing the menu so let's test this uh, just a second we can do this with 20 high 20 and you probably know that you can mix the tailwind apply with the regular css as well border to pixels solid red just to see what's happening here uh, we need to disable this one perfect so what you can see here now once we hide the navigation we will display the menu okay and this one should be like this yeah perfect everything works fine let's reload okay and let's just check what is happening with this one as well so what we can do is we can just uh, set what we have here so and then we can recreate it with uh, tailwind so we fully understand what's under the hood okay and then we have this one as well so this is height this is a background and we there is some board radius definitely need width of 100 here or maybe we don't since this is a flex space between okay probably we can now disable it and let's see what's happening now okay so we have a fully functioning now oxygen styles but uh, we want to convert it now to tailwind so it's much cleaner and we can do here let's just check the width okay here are the sizes we need what was it? it was 40 so we need width and height of okay so we can delete those I think that we actually don't need it here we can do it here apply here and then to close this one let's just check without the margin how it's going to look like okay let's reload to see what's happening here we can do it like this okay 
and now let's do this one actually i don't know why this one is needed let's just check okay we actually don't even need this one i'm not sure why oxygen is forcing it uh, and 32 that's height it's eight and it needs to be flex uh, space between Let's just check space between that's not the spacing that's the layout under the flex and the order that's the flex direction needs to be column okay so you can see how it's much nicer to write the tile wind instead of the plain CSS and let's just height was the size okay so and then this is a background let's go to the colors colors is on the top can take maybe slate 800 and then we actually don't need the border radius for now we can add it later on okay perfect so if we just change now the values everything works perfectly yeah and once you set up this you can just uh, copy paste and reuse it because what we are doing here is we are using the oxygen classes that's not going to change whenever you add the menu element so you can save this as a code snippet and i'm going to post it uh, as well so you have it so you don't even need to retype it you can just paste this snippet and you can follow along the tutorial okay let's just fix uh, this padding on the left and the right because it's killing it so i'm going to check what the tiling elements have here so we can just copy this one let's go here and okay so we just need x perfect we can reload it now and see if everything is working yeah everything is aligned and let's now check what's happening once you click so we can see that we are still using the oxygen oxygen's javascript so what we can see here this one is adding some class and let's yeah parent overflow and let's see what we are going to do with that one okay i'm just going to uh, for a second disable those and refresh it and see what's happening here so what we can see here is we have the additional class here okay and this one is position fixed okay this is a flex okay so this one and then we have this one ok 
Okay. So once we have we have menu body open, it's going to be position fix. Fix position. Okay. So we stop right, left, and bottom. Okay, we need to then bottom, left, right, and top as well. It's going to be a flex. And there is some Z index and a background as well. Background white. Let's just check the Z index. Okay, setting the Z index. Just go with the fifty for now and see if that one will work. Disable those. Okay, we are almost there. So if we check one more time, uh, once this one is enabled, we can see that this one is set to none and just a second if we do this and then we need to set this one to row as well okay so let's start by doing this one and then main we need this flex that's a good start so let's try it okay it's almost there and it's a flex and then needs to be a, a flex column and we can add some margin as well let's do it like this perfect and then what we need to do is just a second navigation let's see and toggle navigation flex okay it should be like this Okay, this one is to be flex column as well, and then needs to be a line in the center, at least for those. I think 
is when we'll core it. Let's just reload and see. So open it. Okay, so the main is a text center and we can add some margin in between as well. Apply margin epsilon. Let's do it like this. Okay, uh, this one needs to be closed. So let's see what's happening here. Okay, we can definitely reduce the size of this one. And we definitely need to have this one as a full width. So we can do it like this. Let's check if this one is to be or now uh, just a second to see it's easier if you see what's here Okay, if this one is a flex, it's going to stretch everything inside and this one is to be with full. This is a tiling equivalent to 100%. Awesome, we are getting there. Definitely need this much space, but we can tune it up as we want. Perfect, now you can see how we are almost there. Let's uh, set this one menu toggle. So this one is open. Let's style a menu toggle. I think that we can actually get away with the, this one a margin left out. Yes, that's actually a good one. And let's see if there is a margin out. I actually never used the margin out before. Ah, there is, so it should be margin left 
out just a second uh, margin where is margin again uh, single sides okay it should be without this one perfect and then we can actually add some padding on the margin on the menu toggle I can do it like this and then this perfect so now you can see that everything is actually set up you can play with the styles as you want but also once you click on this you can play with the styling for this one you can just follow up the steps and i'm going to post uh, this code snippet and i maybe even clean it up a little so it's tidier and uh, this one you can just reuse for every oxygen project where you have used this uh, menu element so thank you for watching and i hope you learn something new today subscribe to our youtube channel and join our the plugins facebook group as well for uh, more questions uh, regarding any of our plugins or uh, wor workflow in general and we would be gladly help you with that one bye until the next tutorial